Hollinger on Gava Transport was a unique company airline service established for a special purpose. It existed to support the construction of the Quebec North Shore and Labrador Railway to transport iron ore by rail from the mine to the shipping port. The airline operated from 1948 to 1954, carrying supplies and personnel until its task was completed. Hollinger on Gava Transport, HUT, was an airline that used mainly Douglas DC-3 aircraft that were veterans of the Second World War to build another transportation system, a special purpose railroad. Like the aircraft themselves, three of the first four pilots were Royal Canadian Air Force veterans of the Second World War. Tommy Griffith, Jack Scott, and Operations Chief Charlie Hoyt were joined by the younger John Timmons. And Chief Pilot Wes McIntosh was hired after serving with the Royal Canadian Air Force during the war. The railroad would run 580 kilometers from the port at Seven Islands, better known as Set Hill, to Knob Lake, now known as Shefferville. And the railroad would carry iron ore from the mine to the port of Set Hill on the Gulf of St. Lawrence for shipment to steel mills in Canada and the United States. Starting in 1948, the intention was to complete the railroad and deliver ore by 54 to the Set Hill port. Montjoly, Quebec, across the Gulf of St. Lawrence, served as the airline's main operating and maintenance base where a well-equipped airport had served the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan and the RCAF during the war. And a dozen rugged and basic airstrips from Montjoly to Knob Lake were used where equipment, supplies, and personnel were carried primarily by dependable DC-3s during the construction of the Quebec North Shore and Labrador Railway. Starting in 1948, with two reconditioned DC-3s, HUT eventually operated a fleet of 10, as well as other types of aircraft, ranging from bush planes on floats to contracted aircraft on skis, to a Canso that served as a tanker aircraft carrying gasoline and diesel fuel for ground-based equipment used at the airstrips. At its peak, HUT averaged 70 flights per day using 80 pilots with crews that flew an average of 1,000 to 1,200 hours per year. Staff included experienced mining personnel and pilots with extensive Air Force and Bush experience to seasonal pilots like Vic Bennett who flew between university terms and in 2006 and 2007 served as chairman of the board for Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame. Ground crew and support staff were vital to the operation of the airline, which flew day and night, seven days a week. And even after hunting in remote Labrador, any self-respecting pilot would want to comb his hair before having his picture taken. Maintenance and repairs were done mainly at the Montjoly facility, but carried out on site when necessary. Over 100 mechanics, radio operators, and other technicians were among the large supporting staff that kept the aircraft flying. With long winters, blowing snow, poor runway lighting, and often low visibility, flying was always a challenge in the northern areas. Hollinger on Gava Transport was soon supporting 7,000 men on the railroad project, and the DC-3s were carrying cement for the building of a dam 30 miles from Knob Lake, which provided electrical power and served as a bridge for ore trains. HUT continued to provide support, and by the end of 1953, over a thousand people were working at the Burnt Creek Mine near Knob Lake. And as the railroad neared completion, Additional aircraft from the RCAF and other airlines were brought in to assist with transport. It has been written that HUT is remembered for its pilots and co-pilots and the shiny Douglas DC-3 aircraft. But without the radio technicians, aero mechanics, freight handlers, dispatchers, the communications personnel, and many others in less glamorous jobs, success would not have been achieved. 
The airline met its objective with an enviable safety record while flying over 55,000 hours from 1948 to 1954 and in over 24,000 flights carried 163 million pounds of cargo. With air support from HUT on February 17, 1954, the last spike was driven to complete the Quebec North Shore and Labrador Railroad. By July 1954, the railroad was operating nine trains each day, carrying iron ore from the mine near Shefferville to the port at Setil. Ore, by 54, had become a reality. song about our north country a song of the men who broke through labrador bound north to angava for that rich iron ore by july 1954 and come back northern wilderness few men had trod to the rich iron ore had been found in its sod to get out that treasure brave engineer swore Blast out a railway until Labrador by July 1954. Hollinger on Gava Transport was presented with a Belt of Orion Award for Excellence from Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame at ceremonies held at the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum on May 26, 2011.